entreaties. Someday in the future, you're going to receive something called the fullness of the Melchizedek priesthood. That's a required thing for you to have in order to be one of the 144,000 men. Women can also be a part of the 144,000 and will be. When you receive the fullness of the priesthood, men become kings and high priests, priests and women become queens and priestesses. And that's about all I can say on that right now. That's what you need to take this to Father and say, what is this fullness of the Melchizedek priesthood? Go into the internet, Google that up, bring it up, do some research. And when you feel like you have sufficient knowledge, then go to the Father in the name of his Son and start to inquire and plead to obtain and receive. There is a law in heaven, brothers and sisters. It's an eternal law. Almost without exception, answers to questions are never given unless the question's asked. We need to learn to ask and ask a lot. You should have a list of questions that you can take in your prayers to Heavenly Father. You let the Spirit give these. And when you part the veil and you stand in the presence of those persons on the other side, you want to have a list of things to ask them. At that point when you're there and you say, oh my, I'm here, and you can't remember one thing to ask, you want to be prepared for that because that's what you're striving to do. So prepare now, ask the questions, have them written out, taken to him now in prayer and in fasting, receive answers through the Holy Spirit, and be prepared also to ask those questions when you see as you're seen and hear as you're heard. Okay? <laughs>a young child i know that they are spiritual gifts i know that not all dreams are dream or you know or have messages 
if you have a dream and there is no escort, it's considered a dream. If you have a dream and there's an escort showing you things, it's considered a vision. So when you hear me talk about dreams, maybe that'll help, and visions, that'll help you distinguish between them. An escort would be someone, and it happens a lot, um, I, uh, in people who've had visions, they will tell you that someone was pointing and showing them things. How many of you have read Visions of Glory? He had an escort many times, pointing out and showing him things that he should be noticing. And I, too, have had dreams and, and visions, both of the end times. Most of mine are about the millennium. And I'm not afraid to share them. I'm just not publishing them. And if you go on nofearpreps.com, oftentimes I will share as a comment to somebody else's what I saw about that particular subject. And I think there is, under visions, one of the topics says Shelley's visions, and I think I shared three of them that are on there. But I've had you know, many more. I just, I just don't feel like that's the direction I should be going in. Instead, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm being pushed to get information out there that is not mine, that is information for you to consider. Okay. Um, and Eileen wanted to say one thing. Just come on really quick. I just wanted to say, uh, the Lord keeps putting this on my heart. But the Word of God tells us that all heaven and earth awaits the revealing of the sons of God. And that includes the women of God as well. And it is an honor to be here with each one of you because I believe that what is transpiring in our world right now with these events is that revealing of the sons and daughters of God. First, that revealing has to come to us personally before it can be manifest to the world. We are all here because we are opening our hearts to the revelation of the Lord as to who we are and what we are, and as others have said, what our purpose is. One thing that I have learned in order to share with others so that they're more open to it, we all if we have turned to the Lord and we have accepted him, we have that light of Christ with us. And oftentimes with other people, the light of Christ is too bright. It is too great. It is too strong. And just as a person that walks from a totally dark room out into the bright light of day or a spotlight, lots of times they'll put their hands up to block their view because they can't handle the light. And if you go into a situation, whether it's at school or whether it's anywhere else, and you're so full of the love of your creator and the love of your savior, that love, when you are allowing that light of Christ to fill you up and flow out from you can be too bright for someone. And I have learned through color therapy, if you will intention your light to be, instead of that pure, full light of Christ, intention your light to be that universal love and allow the universal love, <laughs> some might call it agape love or Christ-like love, to shine out and flow out. It's not quite so blinding, and others oftentimes are more receptive to what you have to share if you can remember to allow your light to be not quite that bright, blinding white light of Christ, but the universal love, that agape love, that that godlike love to flow than others I have found in my own experience can be. Doesn't mean they will choose to be, but can be more receptive. But I just want to thank all of you for being here. It's an honor to be among some of the choices, sons and daughters of God of this generation. I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Just a quick closing prayer, and then we'll Our leave. Heavenly Father, we come before Thee at this time and close this meeting that we've had. We're so grateful for the wonderful fellowship and dinner, for the 
opportunity we've had to fill thy spirit with each of those who have spoken this night this night we're so grateful for the testimony that we have of thy son jesus christ we're so grateful to be able to be servants in even a small way for him we pray that thou will bless each of us tomorrow to be receptive and to be humble to be able to be open to the messages that are taught we pray that nothing will happen that will be things that are dishonoring of thy intention we pray that we might be able to travel home in safety this at this time we give gratitude for the scriptures for the book of mormon for the prophet joseph smith and for all the truths that have been restored in our day we're so grateful to be here to be able to feel thy love and we pray that we will take that with us in more abundance we say this in the name of jesus christ amen mm -hmm.